Hey, it's Shane with GotRom.com. This video is about the mobility tool of the year. This amazing piece of equipment is the Trigger Point Therapy Quad Baller. Now, I've been talking about this thing for years, but recently I discovered that even I, who have been tinkering with this stuff for a very long time, have not used this tool to its maximal potential. So let me show you what I mean. What I've talked about before is how to use this on your quads and your IT bands, which is fantastic. I think it's the best way to go about it. Put this right on your quads on the ground. You roll up and down like this, especially the lateral quads. You can tuck your hand underneath and rest on your shoulder and have your feet off the ground as you'll see there. That really intensifies it. And I like that a lot for the quads and the IT bands, but that's not enough. There's all kinds of other things that you can actually use this little edge piece for. I'd only been using this, but there's so many uses for this side because it's, it's kind of like a firm um, plastic, but it has a little tiny bit of give to it, and it, the contour is nice. It's, not, it's hard, but it's not too hard, like a metal thing might be too hard. So let me show you a couple uses for this side wheel. So besides the quad and the IT band, this TFL area can cause a lot of hip tightness, a lot of hip dysfunction, and this actually fits very snugly into that little notch where the TFL is. So laying on your side, you can kind of angle this how you want, get it into this little divot of the TFL. And if you're not sure exactly where that is, if your pockets are here, it's just a little bit more lateral, not totally the lateral hips, but kind of like right here. If you're sitting up and you kind of press into the front lateral part of your hips, you'll feel like a little divot, a little pocket. And that's where you want to kind of put this little edge. So you're here, you might have to change the angle a little bit. But once you feel like you're in that TFL divot, I like my hip to be flexed as opposed to extended, but you can try both. That feels almost too intense, like the muscle's too stretched. When I bunch it up here, that feels a little bit better. So it takes a little bit of finagling, but once you're there, breathe and relax. Maybe even change the angle this way. So many different things you can do. I'm on a good spot, and so I'm just gonna breathe and relax, let it sink in. And then the other thing you can do is kind of arch your back or tuck your tail, so I'm making pelvic motions. And there's all kinds of, you can have such control using this. So try it on your TFL. The next thing I tried on for myself was on the glutes. We've used the cross balls and jack knobbers and things like that. And this is a different shape and a different feel. So I put it on the glute there. I use some object like this to prop my knee up. And then I rest on an elbow like this. So this is kind of like the basic setup. And you can kind of actually roll a little bit or you can just breathe and relax. You even can kind of pin and stretch. So right now the muscle is pinned down and then when I do this, the muscle moves underneath that pin, and whew, that is intense, but good. You can also play with other leg positions, but I find this is the best for me. So prop your knee up, try it out on the glutes, breathing and relaxing. The next thing to work on, you can work your way around the entire hip joint, it's so cool. So you can work on these high quad attachment points. How you do that is, you get it kind of right here where it kind of almost is moving towards your adductors. And you have to be careful. You don't want to kind of go too far in this area. It's a little bit sensitive, but kind of on the direct front and just a smidge on the inside. It shouldn't feel like you're on any blood flow or any nerves or anything like that. Place that right there. And you're going to kind of have to really finagle to get just in the right spot. So you have to kind of wiggle your hips around. Maybe it's a little lower down the quads for me. So I had first pointed out kind of this spot, but I'm feeling it a little bit lower, so you might too. So kind of check that out. So you're there, and then you can pick your foot up and bring it in this way. I find that that really gets something that is so hard to get, but causes a lot of hip problems. So you can rest easy on the ground, foot comes up, even comes to the inside. You can scrub side to side or pin and stretch like this. 
There's no wrong way to go about it. Just as long as you're getting this on the front, maybe down a little bit, and then you do those foot motions. So you can roll the big meaty part of the quad and you can get this little hard to reach area. So try that out. And then the last two places to get are the hamstrings and the adductors. So we'll go over to the box here. Traditionally, I've shown you how to use softball on these hamstrings and adductors where you're kind of scrubbing around like this. And that's fantastic. You can bounce your foot like this, sit tall, get the attachments, get more adductor, get more hamstring, all kinds of good stuff. But there's a different shape here. This is more pinpoint. When you're ready for something more pinpoint with a slight curve to it, I found this to be incredibly, incredibly useful. So position it where this roller is going in the same direction as your femur. So for me, that's kind of like that. And then you kind of lean away from it and let that foot come off the ground. It takes a little bit of finagling again, but what's magical about this is your hamstring muscles run lengthwise like this. And if this is my hamstring muscle, I'm kind of matching it up right there and it's just pinning it down and then it's trigger point work. Pin it, breathe and relax, a little bit of scrubbing, pin, breathe and relax, scrub. Super, super effective. If you really wanted to get over into more of the adductors, you could kind of drop down into this position, call this the fire hydrant, like dog peeing on a fire hydrant position, and that would get a little bit more of the adductors. So I know it's a little bit hard to see because it's so small, but that's what makes it so effective. When you use larger objects like this, or even larger like a foam roller, you're missing things. The progression as you get more advanced in tissue work is larger objects, objects, softer objects, down to smaller, down to smaller, and eventually, you know, there's a diminishing return, but the hardness and the smaller, smallness of this um, makes it a lot more effective. So this is definitely my favorite tool or one of my favorite tools, but it gets the Mobility Tool of the Year award. So if you haven't picked it up, go pick it up. It's great. I'm not affiliated with Trigger Point Therapy, but they seem like an awesome company, so check it out. Yeah.